Hey you guys, it's Trin, and I want to know if you hold on to your artwork. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this and it's great. It can help you to improve, to see how your art journey has changed along the years, weeks, or even days. But if you're anything like me, um, when I was younger, I did the total opposite. If I didn't like a drawing, in the trash. If I was tired of coloring a page, I'd rip it out or move on. And at the time, <laughs> at the time I thought I had some great reasons for doing these things. But they were actually terrible excuses like, oh I messed up the drawing, it's too late. Or there's more than enough pages so ripping this one out <laughs> won't matter. And let me tell you guys, I regret doing this so much. No matter where you are in your art journey, it's important that you improve your style or at least reflect on your pieces. What is there to reflect on if you throw everything away like I did? Now, exaggerations aside, I do still have tons of art from my past. But if I could total the amount of stuff I'd thrown away, it would probably be like, I don't know, 30 crumbled up or ripped out pages. And whoa, okay, that may seem like a lot or, or a little to you. Regardless, don't do it. <laughs> I never thought I'd lose so much art just out of wanting so badly to have what I thought was a successful drawing or being so hard on myself and I stopped throwing stuff away uh, and ripping out pages during my late middle school years not only because mom told me to but because it messed with my motivation it's hard to stay motivated if you develop thoughts like well I can throw this away or rip it out if it doesn't work in your subconscious that puts pressure on you to make the best thing you've ever made when really, you're an artist. Your drawings are going to differ and bringing them to life is so much easier when you've learned to work with them and not on them. What I mean by working with your drawings and not on them is to let the artwork take its own course. You'll appreciate the art of drawing a lot more and if you mess up, add to the page. Maybe you feel like you're in the phase of giving up on your art still. Well, in order to stop ripping pages and throwing them away when I was in middle school, I incorporated other ways to stick with my drawings, such as using whiteout, uh, paint, tape, and crafts glue to enhance those mistakes. And hopefully this is something that can help your art journey. Perhaps this is something that you already do, and for that I'm sure that you'll fall out of the habit in no time. Even if it's taking you years to move out of this habit, your pages don't have to look like you knew what you were doing all along. They don't have to reach your opinion of perfection. Take care of the papers and look back on them later, please. In fact, you, don't, you know what? You don't even have to look back on them. There's still value in not disposing your work. There have been times when I'll like forget about one of my sketchbooks and a kid stumbles across them and they're like, oh my goodness, Trin, can I look through it? And I'm like, sure. And they find inspiration in my older art journey. The stuff that makes me cringe is the stuff that they're like, oh my gosh, I wish I could draw this. And it inspires them to want to draw more. And they'll ask me like, Trin, can I draw with you? And that can inspire you as well to keep going. So yes, recap. Um, another reason that you should hang on to your art is that someone may stumble across your progress someday and find inspiration in your older journey. Now, maybe the art that you absolutely hated is something that you think a younger artist or an artist with a different art style would not like. But that's not up to you. That's up to them. And another great reason for holding onto your art would be to build motivation. I cannot express this enough. Much like I mentioned before, the act of keeping your works in progress can build the very habit of continuing more so than quitting on your art. And I've got to mention the act of challenging yourself too. It's extremely damaging to compare your art to the art of other artists in an envious or a jealous way. But if you compare your own art, look, <laughs> whatever the case may be, you will see your own improvements and changes. Your art could not improve, and maybe it doesn't, but this is also a great record of reminders, things that you can take note of and work on. You know, work on your weaknesses, whether it's art or anything else, and you'll eventually see improvements. I've got to remind you that you are the artist, my friend. Don't get lost in learning. Enjoy it and create for fun more often. You call the shots and your sketchbooks aren't going to fill themselves. They also don't deserve to lose their papers to great excuses. So have you had this problem before? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. This is Trent's Art Journey and I'll see you guys next time.